Apologies for disrupting the usual transmission, but news just reaching us now says Godswill Akpabu from Nigeria's southern state of Akwaibom has emerged as the president of Nigeria's 10th Senate after a keenly contested election by members of the parliament. Now, this is at the ongoing inauguration of lawmakers in Nigeria's National Assembly, ongoing in the nation's capital, Abuja. Akpabu polled 63 votes, beating his only rival, Abdulaziz Yari, from Nigeria's northwestern state of Zamfara scored 46 votes. Right now, New Central's correspondent, Amadin Uyi, is standing by to bring us the update on that. Amadin, could you tell us what's going on there right now? Okay, right now, the inauguration has commenced proper. A, a few minutes ago, the, the vote in the election of principal officers of the Senate just uh, finished. And uh, the, the chief prize, uh, which you had mentioned earlier, uh, Godswill Akpabio from Akwaibom State, uh, claimed the position of the president of the Senate. Just as you also rightly said, it was a keenly contested election because Akpabio polled 63 votes, uh, while Abdulaziz Yari from Zamfara State, in the northwestern uh, part of the country, he polled 40, 46 votes. And uh, now there were only two candidates. Uh, but remember that the All Progressives Congress, Nigeria's ruling party, and also the president had endorsed uh, Senator Akpabio for the position. But he did not just sit down. He also had to engage his fellow lawmakers. He engaged governors who, to a large extent, had a certain level of influence on the voting pattern, and engaged all stakeholders. And that was why he was able to come out as the winner of the president, uh, as the winner of this keenly contested election. So right now, Nigeria's new uh, Senate, Nigeria's 10th Senate, now has a president of the Senate. Now, Madin, was there any irregularity in the election process? Now, the election for the Senate is usually uh, very straightforward. Lawmakers vote. There are about 109 lawmakers. Uh, each of the 36 states of the country uh, has about three federal constituencies. Then the FCT has only one constituency. So it's usually a very straightforward election. You vote there at the inauguration chamber. It is counted at the inauguration chamber, and the results are announced there at the inauguration chamber. So it was very straightforward, and I don't think is an election that any lawmaker will be contesting. Thank you so much, Amadine, for the updates live from the inauguration chambers. Definitely, New Central will be keeping you up to speed on what's going on uh, at the inauguration chambers. Once again, thank you, Amadine. And now let's bring you um, through African headlines on New Central Television.